Which expression is a binomial? A binomial, the prefix is this little part in the front here. In this case, it's bi, and bi means two. So they're asking which of these choices is a two nomial? Nomial being number type. So we have two number types here. Which of these has two number types? It's binomial. They also might ask for a monomial. Monomial meaning here in mono oops, excuse me mono or mo in this case is one binomial is two and then you might see a trinomial for three types of numbers and these are all polynomials and there are more types of course you could have four types or five types of nomials they're all in the category of poly which means many nomials so which of these is a binomial? Well, the first one's only one type of term. It's not a binomial. Same thing here. They have different degrees. This is, has an exponent of 2, so we would say its degree is 2. This has an exponent of 1, so we'd say this term has a degree of 1, but they're both not binomials. They're monomials. So these are out. Now we come to D and C. And D seems like a tempting choice because the 2 is there as the exponent. But this is one type of term. This is another, and so is this. This is a trinomial. And uh, to find its degree, we could add up the exponents. But that's not what we have. We don't need to even go through that right here because we know it's not a binomial. So 3w plus 1 is a binomial. The first term is this 3w right here. And the second term is this 1 right here. It's a binomial, and C is the choice. And we can tell again because we have one term and two terms. A term, again, is something that's connected with a variable and a, um, a coefficient by multiplication or just a constant as a term, and they're separated by addition or subtraction. So terms are connected by multiplication or division, or they're just a number, and they're separated by addition and subtraction.